first started, um, I'd be like, yeah, I can blitz people. No problem. And I literally would be like in target and just be like, and just like throw a card in the middle of the aisle and be like, someone will pick it up. God's going to bring the right person to pick that up. And that's how I'm going to blitz today. Um, or I would do something like, Oh, Hey, okay. Yeah. I had a server and I would just like not even ever tell the server what I did or anything. Be super shy about my business. And then I would just be like, slip the blitz card in there. If you ever want to kind of hear about it, if you ever do, here you go kind of thing. Um, and so as I've grown in this industry, I've learned that blitzing is not scary at all. It really is just talking to people just like we talk, you know, on an everyday basis. We just bring this, um, this stigma of like, oh my gosh, blitzing. Like, I don't want to be that person where people like look at me or like, oh, I'm going to run away from her. And one big thing that I always tell my team and my team's on tonight. So they know that I always say when it comes to the business, when it comes to posting, when it comes to anything, you just don't want to be creepy. It's like, you don't want to be that person that's like super creepy where you're like, Hey, have you ever heard of that crazy rap thing? And you're like waving this card in someone's face. And they're like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Cause right now you're just waving a card like this in my face. Um, so you just want to be super casual. So we are so excited just to bring you a few trips, a uh, few tips and tricks tonight. I'm starting us off with just a couple. One big thing that I do is I Okay. So I'm super comfortable with like business cards. And so to me, blitzing came a lot easier with me whenever I had business cards, because to me, it wasn't so scary as like handing someone this belly. Um, and so one way that I got better with blitzing and I still do the blitz cards. I love them, but I also kind of do business cards. And so I went in e-suite in our back office and I created a business card. And a lot of you saw that I posted my business card um, when I was at Publix last Friday because I had to literally buy everything new in my fridge. So we were without power for two long days and I lost everything in my fridge in our fridge. Like literally we just had to shop all over again. And I was thinking to myself, had this been five years ago before this business found me, um, and like many of you, I actually found this business on social media, but had this been five years ago, I would have been super stressed about like, whoa, this was not in our budget to like buy a bajillion dollars worth of food again, right? This would not have been in our budget, but because of it works, I was able to pop in Publix and I was able to say, you know what? We need ketchup, mayonnaise, like everything all over again, all the staples. And so it just hit me like how many people can't do that? And so I had a moment there at Publix and I had my business card and I pulled it out and I literally took a picture and I posted. Um, and I had several people that messaged me and say, what is your business? Cause I see that you were able to buy groceries. I see that you were able to buy gas and you guys, that in itself is a form of blitzing. If you don't know that your page, you're either open for business or you're closed for business. And even if you don't run your business on social media, you can show people with a blitz card and it's very affordable to do because you're not having to pass out, you know, 300 cards of whoever may see that that day. You're just posting one and saying, thank you because I sold two wraps. I have this blitz card. I was able to pay for gas today. Thank you. I was able to buy groceries. And so some of us that have been in longer, um, you know, and we may be at different levels or ranks. I never want us to forget that it is people out there that are needing gas food you know, this diapers, wipes, those are what people are needing. And so I never want us to forget that. And so I always try to be very, um, like, uh, passionate about like, you know what, if you need a full tank before it works, I was the queen of just filling it halfway. Like I'd be like, Oh, I don't need to do all that this week. I'd rather get a pair of shoes. Let's be real. So I'm just going to go ahead and not drive very many places this week. I'm just going to give myself half a tank or like, I'd rather do a date night. I'm not going to fill her up. Right. And so this past week I had to fill up a ton of times. Literally we had like a gas shortage and we just didn't know what was going to happen. So I was just filling up as much as I could. And so I never want to forget that. And so that's a form of blitzing. And so funny story, a few weeks back when I was, um, I was, oh, cool. Hi guys. I see the chat. I'm like super like all over the place. So if I, I always say if I can do this business, anybody can do this business. Cause I'm a hot mess express. Like I'm the conductor, but, um, I was at the gas station. This was a few weeks back and I was taking a picture again of my business card. It wasn't a blitz card. This time was a business card. And I was taking a picture of me, like showing that I filled up my tank and this girl like walks up. She was super adorable. So I was like, if she doesn't come to me, I'm just going to be like, here, if you ever want to make extra money, you know, I'm always looking for people to join me. Um, and she goes, what are you taking a picture of? And I said, it's my business card. And she's like, what's your business? And I said, Oh, what did you just say? You opened the door for me to come in. So I said, have you ever heard of it works global? She goes, mm, I don't think so. I go, well, where do you live? First of all, she goes, I live right up here. I go, okay. So you're like down the street from me and you've never heard of this. And she goes, no. And I said, 
um, this is what it is like this. And I just like on my business card, it's got like the different little products and it says, you know, what it is and what I do and things like that. And I said, I was able to quit my job in the medical field. I have a degree uh, in psychology actually. And I also um, worked in the medical field for a very busy and I, I told her who the surgeon was in the area. She goes, Oh yeah, I know him. And I said, after a year of this business finding me, I was able to make enough to stay home. And so if you're ever looking for extra income, if you just want some amazing products, um, what is your phone number? So I can go ahead and just text you this card because this is my last one. I always will say that because one, I don't want to go around spending all this money handing out all these cards, not getting people's information. Like that's pointless. So what I always say is, let me take a picture of this. What is your number? And then they'll give me their number, you guys. And right then and there, I have their information. And then also when I'm going back and texting, I'm like, okay, who is this? So then I'll put in Sarah from 7-Eleven and I'm like, Sarah from 7-Eleven, that's how I put them in my contact. And I remember who she was, where I met her and we go back and forth. That is a super easy way to blitz. If you don't want to spend a lot of money and all these blitz cards and stuff like that, be very frugal with your cards. And if you don't want to hand those out, send them a picture of it. And Cami Dempsey taught me that. She's like, you don't have to spend bajillion dollars on blitz cards. Y'all be very smart. And so what you do is you just say, oh my gosh, I'm actually down to my last few. Because I always will just put a couple in my purse. I don't want to like carry, you know, a pack of whatever. So I'm always, I always say, I'm, I'm just down to my last few. Let me just take a picture of this and text it to you. How does that? And they're like, oh yeah, perfect. They'll be so quick to say 407 718. They'll give it to you right away. And then I always like pop back in the car and I'll say, Hey, it's Nicole. And I do a little emoji or, or whatever cute emoji I want to do, you know, a little sassy one. And I, and then we'll just go back and forth. I'm like, it was so, it was so great to meet you. Stay safe during the, whatever, you know, if you talk to them during the storm, I talked to several people during the storm at Publix, it was like a madhouse. And I would always say, I'm just so grateful for my business because I do not know what I would be doing right now. People are losing their minds. It is so expensive to live through a hurricane y'all. Um, and I would always say that and they're like, what's your business? And then I'm like, can I have your phone number? And I just say the same thing over and over. I'm down to my last few cards. Let me give you my phone number. And that is a super easy way. So it's not like the blitz and go, right? You're not just like dropping it. Um, and just going, I've heard people that just put blitz cards on people's cars. That is the, one of the worst things when I come out of the mall and I see things on my car, I'm like, first of all, who gave you permission to touch my stuff? I don't want your stuff on my car. So if I feel that way about a car wash, I had a psychic that did something on my car that I was like, ew, no. So I was like, why are you putting stuff on my car? Ew, don't put stuff on my car. And so if I think that way, why would I want to go and waste? Cause that's what you're doing blitz cards on a bunch of people's cars. It's very hot in Florida. People are very irritable when they're like walking to their car because they're just stinking hot. And then you're going to come on your car and be like, turn on the windshield wipers. And there's this random belly just going like this. Like that's not what we want. We want to be intentional. We want to be, uh, compassionate. We want to just serve a purpose. And so my purpose is to change lives and help people get healthy and wealthy. I do that with my business. That is the vehicle. And so if you want this opportunity, I present it. Um, I never want to be annoying. I never want to waste my opportunity. My pro No, because then people don't find value in that. If they get out to their car and they turn on the windshield wiper and my blitz card's going like this, there's like zero value because they have no idea who I am. They have no idea what they have their hands on. And so what you want to do is be intentional. That is one of the biggest things I want to say is when it comes to blitzing, as scary as it may seem, you want to be intentional. And secondly, you don't know that that card, who's going to have that card. You don't know whose hands are going to reach for that card. You don't know if that's someone that's been praying for a way out and you're the answer to their prayers. You have no idea who is going to come to your business until you pray people in and then you get on your feet and work. And that means part of our job is blitzing, you guys. We work for ourselves. And so we have to, we're in charge of advertising. We're in charge of bringing people in, right? Corporate gives us the tools we have to do that action. And so blitzing is one of the biggest things. And so while it's super scary, and I think that in our minds we're like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared to do that. It's as simple as, I like a lot of fast food. I eat a lot better but I love fast food. And it's as simple as you were so amazing, you know, at Chick-fil-A, you were so amazing. Can I give you a coupon for my business? I would love, it. and it's just that simple. So let's hear from, oh yeah, if you're hopping on, please mute yourself um, so that we can all uh, listen in. So I'm gonna hop on to our next speaker for the night. Um, that's gonna be Allison. So Lachelle, if you could just unmute Allison. She's gonna go ahead and give us some blitzing tips. <clears throat> What's her last name, Stanley? Allison. Oh my gosh. We've got like a bajillion people on our thread. Yes. Stanley. Okay. Let's hear from her. Allison, are you on? I'm on. Hi. Hi. 
Okay, so just like Nicole was saying, you guys, I think one of my biggest things to kind of like piggyback with that is we're in a people business. I mean, bottom line. So if your mouth is open, your business is open. If your mouth is closed, your business is closed. And I think that's one thing that I learned right away is I totally did like the first year in the business. I didn't know what I was doing, blitzing. And I did that whole thing, Nicole, like go through the drive through Starbucks, get my drink. And I'm like, over oh, here, the crazy rap thing, throw the blitz card and go. And it like doesn't work, guys. It does not work. Don't do it. I mean, you can drop as many blitz cards as you want. Like Nicole was saying, like the cars, it doesn't work. Don't do it. And if you're the one that's saying, you know, you know, I'm blitzing, I'm giving out cards. Well, are you putting it in someone's hand? And so that's one tip that I will say is if you're going to hand out a blitz card, it goes in somebody's hand every single time. And not only that, but you've got to get contact info. So I feel like that's one, you know, biggest thing with blitzing is that you can do it, but you've got to do it all the way. And I, I know you guys have heard Stephanie get on stage and say, Hey, you guys have done about 75% of the work for me. I walk up to that person, they've been blitzed before, but they've never gotten contact info. Nobody's ever followed up with them. So a couple of tips that I have is I carry you guys a little blitz bag in my purse. So I carry this with me everywhere. And I have, just like Nicole has um, business cards, I have business cards and I have blitz cards. So I have both of them. I always have wraps on me, green samples, and then like a pen and a sticky note. And so it, and you guys, I have a three-year-old and I'm eight months pregnant right now. So I have crazy, like nothing is ever normal when you're out in public with three-year-old, I mean, toddler, let's be honest. So, you know, when we're in the cashier line and things are crazy, not every time can I say, okay, now let me write down your info. Let me add you on Facebook. It's crazy every time. So I'm, I try to prepare myself for whatever situation that I'm in because some scenarios are you know, a lot calmer. So great. I can pull out that blitz card and say, Hey, this is what it is. This is what it does. Other times I'm like, Oh my gosh, I mean, on Facebook, I'll text you later. Like so quick. Okay. So in this blitz bag, I have again, blitz cards, green samples, wraps, a pen and a sticky note. So I go again, really quick before I even share this scenario, blitzing. I don't ever plan a quote unquote blitzing day. I don't ever plan a quote unquote, I'm going to go out and blitz five people today. And I think that was one thing for my team that I had to really, really get into their heads. It's like, you don't plan to blitz. It's just natural. It just happens. And when you just basically never miss an opportunity to blitz and you're constantly creating that opportunity everywhere you go, it's going to become natural everywhere you go. Okay. So, and it's only awkward if you make it awkward. So just be you, be casual, create that conversation, strike it up. So I don't know how many times that when we go to, I mean, think about your normal day. I, I don't know how many times people are like, I don't have time to blitz. I'm like, you're going to the grocery store. You're taking your kids to school. You're going to target. You're getting gas. You know, you're every time you, you put your body in that car, you're blitzing. Okay. So number one, you either have a car magnet or a decal. If you don't have either one, get one of them. Um, I think my car, I have a Tahoe and the back of my, my car decal has brought me so many customers just by getting gas every single time. What is that? You sell at works. What are those body wraps? What do they do? I get that strike up that conversation a lot at gas stations and even people just call. So you go through the line. Okay. And everybody is going to ask you, did you find everything? Okay. How was your day? Did you, you know, how are things going? And, and if you have a little three-year-old toddler, they're going to be yelling at the person too. Hi, how's it going? You know, and just create that opportunity. And so every time I say, I'm good, how are you? And they say, great. You know, did you find everything okay? And I say, yep, I sure did. How's your day going? Continue that conversation, you guys. And another thing too is wear your gear, wear your gear so that you can open up that conversation. I always have hats, you guys, always. I'm such a hat girl. I throw on a hat, take my son to preschool. And so if I don't have a hat on or something at works, I try to be able to keep myself branded so that not only if I don't have a blitz card or a business card, I at least have something that works on me. So anytime they say, how was your day? And I say, it's good. How was yours? And they say, you guys, I don't know how many times I hear this. I'm so glad I'm almost off my shift. You know, I can't wait to get home or I'm so tired. Boom. You give them a green sample, you know, boom, insert blitz card, insert business card. It, there are so many opportunities created for us every single day. And we just, we miss that opportunity every single time. Um, so anytime, uh, here's another one back to school. We just got our kids back in school, right? So teacher appreciation, little bags or a card, slipping a blitz card and uh, slipping a blitz card and slipping a product or a, a green sample or your business card. Um, another one that I like to do is like Halloween's coming up. So go to the dollar store, 
spend 20 bucks, get the little bags, put for your trick or treaters. I do this every year. I've been in this business four and a half years. I put a blitz card, um, a green sample, and then like a little candy or something in there. You guys, people love it. Kids love it. And they think they're getting like this big old thing. <laughs> okay. And then I say, go home and give this to your mom. Um, so just get creative every single time that you're trying to blitz. Um, and then when you're thinking about blitzing, okay, so every time you're going out and you're thinking about, okay, what do I got to do today? I'm telling you guys, I'm such a face-to-face -face person. I love events. I love one-on-ones. I love coffee shop days. I love social media too. And just like Nicole was saying, you have an opportunity to blitz every single day with your social media and face-to-face. -face. And so social media, every time I buy groceries, every time I buy gas, I hold up a blitz card or I put my $25 cash with it or my it works card. And I'm like, because of it works, I'm able to buy groceries. I'm able to buy gas. I'm able to get school supplies. People don't care that you're making thousands of dollars, you guys. And that's one thing I learned is they don't care about my busy life. They don't care about me traveling. They don't, they don't think it's real. They don't. But when they see the real is the $50 in groceries, you know, the $25 in back to school supplies, the $100 in back to school clothes. That's what people need. They need their electricity bill paid for. So get, start with the little things and then work your way up. Um, okay. The next thing is blitzing everybody. That's like, I always had that seven foot rule. Like I'm pretty sure Stephanie taught that, but the seven foot rule, anybody that's within seven feet of you should have your blitz card in their hand. And you've got to think of it as like pretty much just get over yourself. Number one, number two is that could be your next rock star. That can be your next diamond on your team. That person could change the game. It only takes one person, you guys to shift things for you, to shift the momentum. And it takes five people to go ambassador. So why not? I mean, why not take a chance, um, hand out that blitz card because you never know, um, what's, what's going to happen and what's the worst they're going to say. No. Okay, great. And this is one thing that I get back is, well, what if they throw back in my face or what if they get offended or what if they say no, say no problem. Can you just go ahead and hand this out to three people that you might know? I never let them get that blitz card back ever ever blitz card or business card because somebody needs and wants what you have who doesn't want to look good and feel good everybody that's everybody's new year's resolution right so i never ever let them give that blitz card back um another thing that i was taught too for all you reds i'm a big red so those reds that are on here something that i was taught too was that think about this every time we sign a distributor and they get their first two loyal customers it's a hundred dollar fast start bonus right so one of my enrollers taught me, she goes, every time you hand in the blitz cards, it's worth $100. So you're probably going to start handing out a lot more blitz cards. So when you start having that mindset is like, okay, if you're in this business to make some money, you've got to be handing out blitz cards and getting that contact information in return. So create the opportunity. If you know there's mom groups coming up, you know, parks, um, play dates, you know, gyms, whatever you know that you can connect with moms. If you're a student, connect with other students. You've got to create this opportunity to be social. We're in a people business, you guys. So bottom line, you've got to interact with other people. Um, I want to share something really quick. I was at McDonald's the other day with my son after preschool and I was sitting there and I was doing some follow-up when my son was playing and I was, I saw these two moms talking. I was like, well, I'm going to get some. I'm going to blitz them here in just a minute. But I kept following up. You guys, she came and blitzed me for her church group before I got up and blitzed her for Bound It Works. And I sat there and I was like, it's so funny. Like, how easy is that? She came up and was like, hey, we meet on Thursdays at this time. You know, you should totally come. I see you have a little boy. That's all it was. It wasn't weird. It wasn't awkward. She didn't even say what church she was with. She literally handed me her business card and said, you should come. You're a mom. That was it. Um, another thing too is get outside of your comfort zone. If you're going to the same gas station, the same target, the same grocery store, the same everything, cause we're, we're creatures of habit, you know, get outside of your comfort zone, go new places. And that's one thing that I learned very early on was to get outside of my comfort zone and to, I mean, I work from home. So, you know, I go to the park, you know, I try to go places and work, go to McDonald's. So I try to find new places to go and not continue, continuously going to the same place every single time. Um, anytime that you're paying bills, put in a blitz card. Anytime you're returning items like from Amazon or online shopping, put in a blitz card. Um, so let's see here. So yeah, so I think the biggest thing you guys, my last tip that I would say with blitzing is just don't make it awkward. Don't make it weird. Don't go up to somebody and just be like, hey, have you heard of it works? Have you tried the crazy rap thing? Like, 
I, people don't even remember like what you said after you say it. I swear they like you have to like repeat it twelve times. So I literally will be like, "Hey, thank you so much for the great customer service. I'd love to give you one of my cards." Or, "Hey, thank you so much. I love your personality. You'd be so good at what I do. Give them your card." I always, always, always add them on Facebook. Number one, because I want them to see what I'm all about. I want them to see my journey. I want them to see my adventure. I want to see and bring them into my life. But I'm just, I'm real and honest with people. I'm like, hey, I, if I'm at the park, just like I was today, you guys, there was a mom with two kids. And I'm like, oh, I'm about ready to be in that same boat too. And she looks over at me like, wait, what? That was, that was my blitz. I'm about ready to be in the same boat. And then she saw that I was pregnant and she goes, oh, how much farther longer do you have? And I'm like, oh, I've got about four weeks left. And I just started talking about just, that was it you guys, and it ended with a bullet card. It wasn't anything weird, like, oh my gosh, you should do this, you should try it, like, it was nothing like that. So, biggest thing is strike up conversation, just be normal, and be prepared at all times. Never leave your house without business cards, without blitz cards, and ready to talk to people. Yes, I love that. I always, hashtag, don't be creepy, you guys. Don't be creepy, it's like so easy to just talk, just think, I always think of everyone I'm about to speak to or about to blitz, like that could be my next best friend. She doesn't know it yet, but I like that girl. She's going to be my friend. Um, and it just kind of be relatable. Like I love your whatever. Everyone that knows me knows that I love like donuts, babies, Channing Tatum, glitter, and leopards. So I always kind of look for those factors when I'm out and about. I always treat every day like a scavenger hunt. So I'm like, who can I compliment today? Do you guys know how many people like crave just positive mm -hmm. reinforcement? Um, and this is like the psychology of me coming up, but just you could change someone's entire day by saying, you look really pretty today. And I don't even do that just so um, I'm trying to sell them anything or blitz them. But as women, we need to empower each other. And if you see a mom whose kids are totally losing it, you need to say like, oh, I've been there, girl. We need to stick together. You know what I mean? And just something like that could be like, girl, I have been there. Um, I would love for you to come to my girls night in next week. Just leave the kiddos at home and just come and get a facial, come tighten and tone the belly, whatever. And just be super compassionate, relatable, and kind. Like, I feel like, especially with everything that's going on these days, like, kindness is like contagious and just being a good human and being a good person it just brightens someone's day so you could be that smile that someone's looking for and i'm not even i was at um okay i was at krispy kreme a couple days ago like right before the storm hit and i literally was like all right please tell me y'all are not gonna go out when the storm hits because i need you and they were dying laughing and i was like listen i work from home i could be if you guys have power and the curfew is lifted i will be in here and they were dying laughing and so the girls are like college girls and they're like what do you do and i literally was like handing out my cards i was like listen you're adorable you're precious you need to join me like where do you go to school like i was literally talking to all of them they were like <sighs> coming because everybody is hungry everybody wants extra income Everyone wants to look and feel their best. And a lot of people, like, they just want good girlfriends. Before this business, like, I literally was like that girl in high school that I was like friends with everybody. Um, and then you realize after high school, you're like, wait, they were, like, were they really friend friends? You know what I mean? And so this business has brought me some of the best friendships of my life. Like, my, they're like my sisterhood. Um, and so even if people are just craving friendship, sisterhood, anything, we have the opportunity to invite them on this amazing adventure that we've been blessed to have. And how dare we keep that to ourselves, right? Okay, so now we're going to hear from Melinda. Um, where is she? Melinda, Melinda. Are you on, baby? I know Lachelle needs your, like, are you here? I'm here. Yay, how are you? I'm awesome. How are you? Good. Let's hear your blitzing tips, mama. Okay, well, y'all pretty much took all of them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, really what is, what is so cool about this is that it's, you are, you guys are already doing it. Okay. And if you're scared, you know, you just have to be yourself. Just like they have said, you've got to be, you know, go out and make friends. That's how easy this is to do. When I got started uh, nine years ago. Yeah, Melinda, we, tell us about, I want you to tell us how long you've been with us. Tell us a little bit about your journey too, because I think your story is amazing. Okay. Well, uh, so nine years ago, uh, you guys know Melody McFarlane. Yeah. <laughs> so she was trying to get me to be a distributor. I was not interested. I was happy to be a stay at home mom for kids. My husband made great money and I was not interested, but being, you know, uh, I had four C-sections. I did want to try the product. So I had a party and what I like about my story, I guess if I had to say this, um, nothing went right. And according to plan, uh, I didn't want to be a distributor. 
but I wanted to try the product. I forgot about my party, but luckily Melody called me on the way to the party to say, hey, I'm on the way. And I was like, okay, I don't have the heart to tell her that I forgot. So I hung up the phone. I got on the phone and I called four or five people that I could get there in 10 minutes. I'm like, okay, you've got to be here. I don't know what we're doing, but we're going to, you know, look good afterwards. So I had uh, about five people there. We had such amazing results um, after our wrap that two people wanted to be distributors and they talked me into it. That's how I got started. I did not even want to do this. Mm -hmm. um, so, and we didn't have Blitz cards back then. I didn't have food at my party. I mean, literally we just have water. We sat in my bedroom and talked. So don't let, you know, thinking that you have to have everything planned out, everything has to be perfect and have all this food at your house, just do it. Melody was so excited. It's like, girl, you got to try this. And then once we had amazing results, we're like, oh my gosh, who doesn't want to, you know, you know, look better in 45 minutes? What mom doesn't want to tone their belly? So we got to work and of course we went and we talked to every salon, every tannin salon, and I'm not a salesperson. I'm a mom, okay? I've never really been good at selling anything. We did another network marketing business years ago. My, it was my husband's thing. I supported him, but it wasn't anything that I just took charge of to do myself. But when this came along, um, I realized, you know what, why would I not want to share this with my friends? You know, I know there's people out there that want to look better, feel better. When I started taking the supplements, I mean, it changed my life. I had more energy than I had in 10 years. And you know what, you owe it to your friends and your family to give them this opportunity to look better, feel better, and then not to mention make extra money. Because there came a point in time in my business where, you know, um, I needed to make some extra money. So I had to make, I had to get my mind set that I was going to do this business no matter what, because my kids were older, they were going to college. And even though my husband made great money, we were uh, diagnosed with a, a life threatening heart condition and we had medical bills going up, you know, over to, up to the roof or whatever. And uh, so I had to make the decision that I was going to do this no matter what. That's when I, I was so determined. I would blitz anybody and everybody. We finally had blitz cards by then. Yeah. And if I had to give you any kind of a tip that you haven't already gotten right now, basically besides just be friends with everyone, um, think about, instead of thinking about what you're going to say to them, listen. You have two ears for a reason. Listen to what people are saying because people all around you are hurting. They're, you know, they need more energy. They're sick all the time. They're tired. You know, just even at... Um, you know, a waitress telling me, you know, well, this is my second job or I'm looking for a second job. You know, I immediately give her a blitz card. I'm always looking for awesome people just like you. If you think you want to make some extra money, I would love to have you on my team, you know, and just be yourself and be, instead of thinking about what you're going to say, you listen to what they're saying. And if you're praying about this and you're praying people into to your business, God's going to put the words on your heart that that person needs to hear. So that's, you know, the, the one thing that I do, and then also is to get their information. I know they've already said this, um, but if you make it casual and you're talking to them, like Nicole said, you're meeting somebody at the park or at the mall and you're really connecting with people, then if you're, you want to connect with them on another level, like with your kids or whatnot, so you have a reason to get back with them, not necessarily just about the business, but I usually say, you know what, are you on Facebook? And they're like, well, yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, hey, what's your name? And I'll send them a friend request right there. So that's something that, and I want to tell you right now, I am not red, okay? I'm probably the yellowest of yellows. <laughs> um, but I have had to really work hard to find my yellow and to make myself do these things because they were not what comes natural for me. But I've worked so hard with this business to do the things that I know that I need to do to be successful because of my why. You know, I needed to pay for my kids' college education. I didn't want to look them in the eye and, not, and, and to tell them no, that we can't afford it. So that's why I got out of my comfort zone to do the things that I needed to do to build my business. And one thing that Melody always told me, and this is what kept me in, you guys, because I wanted to quit so many times. We went through... Um, website crashes, um, rap shortage. rap shortage, all that. Yes. And listen, I wanted to quit every single time too, just like a lot of other people want to quit when they get up against the wall. But every single time Melody would say, Melinda, you're one blitz card away from changing your life. 
You're one person away from changing your life. And literally it was the truth because you know, it's always the darkest right before the dawn. And if you give up before your the blessing, then somebody else is going to come in and reap all the seeds that you've been planting. So you don't want to do that. You've got to stick around and the fortunes in the follow up too. I will tell you that you've yep. got to get their info. You've got to follow up with them. And I don't care if you have to follow up with them for three to five years, you do it. Okay. Because I still have people after this long, after nine years that are calling me, I get loyal customers all the time, new distributors. So, and, and another good thing is you have to overcome excuses because you're going to get a lot of them. Okay. But that's why you have to keep trying and stick with it keep doing it because you got to help people overcome their excuses. They're, they're going to have tons of them, but just talking to people. Um, and one other little tip that I'd like to say is that, um, and this is kind of cute, but one way to get people's info I thought was good is that, um, say, Hey, I do a giveaway once a week, a free wrap giveaway or once a month. It's up to you how many wraps you want to give away. But uh, if you're just sitting on them, give them away, okay? I mean, that's kind of what I do. But so I'll say, if you'll text me, whether I've already given them a Blitz card or not, um, or send them a, a, a friend request, or I might have asked for their info, but even if I just give them a Blitz card, I'll say, hey, if you text me within the next 24 hours, I'm going to add you to my uh, giveaway. So then they're going to text me with their phone number instead of me asking them for it. Does that make sense? So I like that because who doesn't want a free wrap, right? Um, and now I don't know if anybody talked about a scavenger hunt. I know this is kind of old school, but we have done those with our team to help um, get people together, get them having fun with this. And if you're in a group and you're doing something fun like this, it's easier to blitz, okay? So whether you're doing it local with your local team, get together and have a blitz day, scavenger hunt, you just print out a list of all the different people that they can um, blitz that day. They have to take their picture with them and then you can have a contest or whatever. Just have fun with it. But that really worked for us because when we first started this, we didn't have blitz cards. They had just come out with it and everybody's like, oh gosh, how do we do this? And so that was one of the first things that we did. We all got together and had a scavenger hunt. And it really just, you know, it helped everybody to feel more comfortable about it and just have a lot of fun. Even you can do it. Uh, even if you're not local, you can use Facebook or your groups or whatever to have pe people send their pictures in. So I like that. And then of course the old fashioned uh, lanyard around your neck. You know, I know it's cheesy, but it works. I have a ton of people on my team that do that. Flip it to your purse, you know, especially if you don't have a lot of Blitz cards and you're trying to save money. You don't even have to laminate it. Just put it on a Blitz card. You can get one for a dollar at, you know, dollar dollar store. Mm -hmm. So, um, and people want to know what is that? You know, why are you wearing that around your neck? I mean, <laughs> you know, or get a name tag and wear that because people want to know who you are. It's like, why are you wearing a name tag? What do you do? So you always want to wear your clothes. Um, but even if you don't, like you said, a hat or your lanyard or whatever, maybe you can't afford a shirt yet. Just have that blitz card and put it around your neck or tie it on with a ribbon around your purse. It's so easy, you guys. But I think that's all I've got because you guys took all of my great awesome. tips. Awesome! <laughs> I love the clipping on there. the purse. The clipping the little blitz card on the on the purse. I'm a purse girl. I've always been a purse girl. Like mm -hmm. since I was born, I love purses. So I always like look and I'm like, oh. And so I don't know how many people have always stopped me and be like, what? Is, wait, 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 wait. What is this little thing? And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh. And so that's a great way to do that. Um, but thank you so much. Those have been some awesome tips. I love hearing from you know newer presidentials. Presidentials have been in a while. Like I just love that all of us have different stories. Um, and if you're new tonight, one big thing too, cause I've got a couple of my new girls on is one blessing that you all have is you can get your four customers and get a $500 shopping spree. Hello gear, blitz cards and stuff like that. So that's just an amazing, uh, amazing perk right now. Like I was like, Oh my goodness, I just can't believe corporate did that, which is super awesome. So, okay. We're going to switch over to Lachelle. Uh, she's going to go ahead and give us some blitz and tips. How are you boo? Good. Hi guys. Hi beautiful people. Okay. So I'm going to talk super fast because a lot of the, the tips that I have, nobody said anything. So I'm just going to go really fast. Right. So let's first talk about mindset when it comes to blitzing. I need to tell you all right now, listen to Pam Souter and you got to get over yourself because blitzing, when you're blitzing someone, it is not about you. 
okay? So we get so afraid to blitz people. I'm gonna tell you right now, no one's died from blitzing, period. So you just have to just remember, it's not about you and your blitzing, it's about them. And I remember in the very beginning of this business, I just, I'm really big on duplication and I really wanted to be an ambassador diamond, okay? And, and, and the way I looked at it is, if I'm gonna be an ambassador diamond, I have to do exactly what an ambassador diamond does. An ambassador diamond splits. Find me one ambassador diamond that doesn't blitz. Go ahead. Now, here's the thing. When I went to go blitz, I was not even a Ruby yet. And I probably had, I brought my boyfriend, I brought TJ, and I probably had like 200 blitz cards, right? And I was like, we're going to go to a mall. And we're just going to hand out these 200 blitz cards. We are going to literally blitz 200 people. And I'm not even kidding you. I had a panic attack in the mall parking lot. I started bawling my eyes out and I cannot, I, I was like, I can't do this. And TJ put me in check and he said one of the, the, the biggest things that have stuck with me the last two years. And he literally told me to shut up. And he was like, you would walk up to 200 people right now and tell them about this opportunity if you were already making $10,000 a month. So I want you to go walk in that mall with me and pretend that you already make $10,000 a month. And it was like light bulb. Because here's the thing is that sometimes we have to borrow somebody else's confidence. Because think about it right now. If you're a brand new distributor and you're not making 10 k a month, if you were, you'd, you'd literally be like, hi, I got something to talk to you, everyone about. And so mindset is huge with blitzing. So I want to talk about unintentional blitzing and intentional blitzing. So the one of the first ways that I started to blitz because like I used to be like Starbucks was like my like I like you could just hook an, up an IV basically that was like my life with Starbucks. I'm not even kidding you. And so I went through that line every single day and I'm like okay so how can I like blitz this line every single day? A really easy way to blitz Starbucks lines is I do this now every single time I ever go to Starbucks, right? So when I get up to the barista, he hands me my stuff, and before I hand him my car, card, I'm like, and I kind of look behind me too, but I'm like, hey, what did they order? And usually it's like one drink. And, you know, I understand if you're brand new in this business and, you know, you don't want to be paying for like the van of like 10 kids behind you, but honestly, 90% of the time, the person behind me ordered a coffee, which is $1.67. And I'm like, okay, can I pay for them? Can I pay for their drink? And will you please give them this blitz? Will you please give them this coupon and tell them to have a great day? So that's my unintentional blitzing. But here's the thing is the reason why I do that. And I mean, I kind of have like a $10 limit, but I mean, if you don't have a $10 limit, like just kind of, it's kind of like, you can say like, if they're like, oh, they ordered six white chocolate mochas, be like, okay, never mind. <laughs> that's okay. But if they ordered one drink or whatever you can afford, be like, okay, can I pay for them? And then when you get this coupon and tell them to have a great day, the reason why I do this is because my information is on this coupon and you know what happens? I'm, it's like 60% of the time because I don't want to talk to, sorry, I totally skip this. This is a really good idea to do blitz cards. When you have blitz cards, you can do this on Vistaprint. It's just a sticker of me with my face on it and all my information, all my social media platforms, my, so, my phone number, my email, and my website. But 60% of the times when I do that at Starbucks, you know what happens? They send me a message on Facebook and they say, thank you so much for my coffee. <laughs> well, guess what? Now I know who they are and I just connect with them on Facebook. So that's an unintentional blitz. It's easy to practice and you can communicate with them through Facebook. Um, another thing that I do, and it's, a, it's like a me thing. So like, I don't know if there should be like an age requirement for this or whatever, but it's totally a me thing and I've been doing it forever. I love to blitz married men. Okay. The reason why I love to blitz married men is because I get to talk to a guy and, and, and with women, like we kind of get each other these looks and stuff. And with men, I literally go up to them like, Hey, I saw that you're married because you have a ring on your finger. You should give your wife this coupon. She will love you. Tell her to contact me if she has any questions. You know, he's like, Oh my God, my wife is going to freaking love me because I'm coming home with a coupon and like kudos to me. And all I say is like, yeah, no, she's going to freaking love it. Tell her to add me on Facebook. Have a great day. Walk away. Took like two seconds. No big deal. I do that all the time because it's so easy, and I can, spot, I can spot a wedding ring like no one's business. Um, also, so another thing is that when you are in the grocery store, I don't know if it's just like a – I don't know if I like just notice like the every little detail about people, but I find a couponer every grocery store I go to. If you walk by that lady with a binder with coupons, or if you walk by that lady that is holding a ton of coupons, you know what you have? It's a coupon. <laughs> so tell her, be like, I see that you're a couponer. Do you ever watch that, that coupon show? You should add this to your binder. 
it's my coupon. And you know what? I don't want to hold you up because I know you got a lot of couponing to do, but you should add me on Facebook. I would love to talk to you more about, we have over 50 products that you can actually use this coupon on. See what I did there? Okay. Um, another one, hold on. I have so many that I really wanted to start marking these off. Okay. Coupon. Um, remember that blitzing is not just with blitz cards. That It Works Pay card is a really great way to blitz. Um, what I like to do with the It Works Pay card, because you can actually, when you are loaded your commissions into your account, you have a choice of what you want to put, like maybe write direct deposit into your account and what you want to put on your card. So like every once in a while, you could just put like some money on your card and then that's your, like your blitz when you pay for things. I like to personally just my fast starts on that card. Um, and then that's what pays for my Starbucks. That's what pays for every single time I go out to eat, putting that card in there. They see it. All right. They see it. They're going to be like, what is this? They're going to look at it because it's not a visa. It's, it's not like a, Discover or American Express or a MasterCard, like it's like it works global right in their face. And so um, I like to do it with cashiers too, because if they look at it long enough, I'm like, hey, have you heard of that? I just like sneak it in there and that's a blitz too. Um, something about, um, okay, so the sticky notes thing. So I actually got this from one of the teammates, so I can't take credit for this, but what she likes to do is she likes to take sticky notes and she like, they're like just those square sticky notes and she actually tapes them. So it like sticks out. So like it could fold, but then it like sticks out and she likes to put them on, um, get like gas where you get gas, those called gas pumps and on diapers and diaper area. And what it says, she'll put on her sticky note and she'll be like, um, my diapers were free. Text me. And she'll put them right in the diaper section. And then she'll be like, my gas is free, text me. And she'll put it right at the gas pump. I thought that's really creative. I think that's, oh, I, think that's, that's cool. yeah. I like that. Um, and then the yawn game is my favorite. Okay, so me and TJ, when we used to go grocery shopping, we would play the yawn game. It's kind of like the slug bug game. So this is really fun if you like do it or make your parents do it with you or make your boyfriend or your, your husband do it with you or your girlfriend. Um, so putting a greens on a blitz card, all right? And giving each, both of you have to have five blitz cards with a greens on it, right? So you can go to the grocery store, the mall, you can go anywhere that's a public area. And every single time somebody yawns, I would hit them because it's like a slug bug. And I'm like, yawn, and I run up to them and I'd be like, hey, I just saw that you yawned, all right? So I wanna give you this free sample of greens. All you gotta do is put it in your water and it's gonna give you energy. I always want. I always win. <laughs> okay. But that's a really easy thing. And it's fun because I mean, you kind of want to hit your boyfriend and he kind of wants to hit you too sometimes. And that's good. His little opportunity. But what do the greens do? I mean, they give me energy. They replace my coffee half the time. So the yawn game, it's literally like just, and you can do like whatever, whatever. But every time I see somebody yawn, there's times where I literally get mad at myself when I don't have, um, like I have blitz cards with me, but I don't have any stable to the greens. I'm like, I'm like, oh, they yawn. It's like, it's like now my like obsession with somebody yawns like, oh my God, I could have saved your life. Um, so with the Halloween thing, um, I know Allison talked about it just so we make, we, I got you, Allison. <laughs> so just so you guys know, we can't technically give a blitz card to a child, but what you can do for Halloween, since Halloween is like next month, um, what we do, what I teach a lot of my team, and we've been doing this for two years now, is where do parents stand when the kids go to the door? They stand at the mailbox. So you can make like a little makeshift, like kind of like pocket that says, hey parents, take, take a sample and literally put the blitz cards in there with like, you can do wow, or you can do those little things too. Like you can even do like a little like bucket or you can do like a little pouch or something. If you wanna make your own like, like little parent trick-or-treating things like hey parents take a sample because that's where they stand when you get when the children go to their door and it says hey parents it doesn't say hey kids it says hey parents so it's for the parents and the parents are like don't touch that because it says me hello this is I know this night is about you but this says parents that's about me and they're gonna go to that mailbox and be like what is this um blitzing at parties another thing I got from a teammate which I think is genius I tell a lot of my teammates to put their face and a sticker on here, you get a bit of print, there's always coupons, you can get like 50 for like seven bucks or something. But um, when you're at a party, this is a really good game. Um, have the people at the party take a picture with your Blitz card, and you know, you can kind of come up with like a mock status for them. It'd be like, 
oh my god, like, Lachelle is, like, super funny. She's, like, hosting our rap party right now, and I freaking love her. She's great. <laughs> but no, you can be, like, whoever gets the most likes gets a free rap or whatever. They are intentionally blitzing for you. You're not even talking to people. You're using other people's networks. Um, and then that's it. That's all I got. I I'm like literally like this as you're going. I'm like, okay, okay, I love it. That's so good. I think that's all I got. The mailbox, yes. Yeah. Married men, hello. Duh. They like hello. Oh my god. I know. Genius. Yes, yes, yes. Amber and I are like genius. We're doing that. Okay. Um, okay let's close this. Katie had a really cool story to end this the night with. Where is Katie at? Okay. Can you hear me? Are you there, baby? Hey. Yes. Hi. I get to see you in a couple days. I know. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for Nashville, you guys. If you haven't buy your ticket yet, you gotta you yes. gotta buy your ticket. Um, okay, so I know we only have a couple minutes left, so I'm gonna try to make this really quick. I have like the way that I found it works and then a couple of other things, but you guys, my name is Katie Harold. I'm uh, presidential in Toledo, Ohio, and I have been with It Works for almost four and a half years. Um, I've been presidential for a year and a half, but you guys, I found It Works through a Blitz card. I was sitting at a bar on a Monday night, and Sarah Rankin, formerly Sarah Savage, was standing on the other side of the bar, and she was a double diamond, and she looked at me, and she goes, hi, and I just, I knew who she was, but we were acquaintances, and she just got in her little purse, and she slid me the card across the bar, and she said, have you ever heard of this? And I was like, no idea, you guys, as a college student, I was going, I was, I was in school, I had absolutely no intentions of doing this, I was a full-time bartender, full-time student, and I had a party for her one week later, I became her loyal customer, got the skinny pack, I ordered from her for two and a half years, I sent her 16 loyal customer referrals, um, and um, I don't know if I'm the spot. I don't think I'm the spotlight video. Not that that matters, but you are um, for me. You what? Are, am I okay? Good. Um, I was. I sent her 16 low customer referrals. Um, I would always just randomly buy wraps from her, and she kept offering me the business, offering me the business, and it was just not my time. Just not. Just not my. Time. That was weird. Um, it just wasn't my time. My time. I don't know where I'm echoing. Do you guys hear that echo? I don't. You're good. I hear the echo. Okay. I hear the echo. Oh, you do? I, Can I'm the good. real Katie please stand up? <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to try and mute myself really quick. Okay. Try not. Okay. All right. It's gone. So anyways, um, it just wasn't my time, you guys. And I was in school. I was going to be a wedding planner. That's what I was going to do. So it ended up being my time when I graduated and I could not find uh, my dream job and I couldn't move and I was just, I was stuck in my current situation. And so um, I, got, I got invited to another rap party, not even Sarah's rap party. And I felt so loyal to her that I called her. But you guys, like that is how I found this business is because all because a random acquaintance in a bar said, have you ever heard of this? Mm -hmm. And so um, when I joined, um, that was my thing. Have you ever heard of this? And four and a half years later, it is still my thing. Have you ever heard of this? So, and I remember, um, so I joined and a month later, Sarah took me to my very first, um, one to one mission up in Troy, Michigan with Mike Patello and Denise Walsh. And I met Shelly Hyde for the first time and she was one of my uplines. And she, I remember thinking she was the most powerful woman ever. She stood in the parking lot with like 50 people and she said, it is not up to you to decide whether somebody wants this or needs this or not. How dare you walk by somebody and not tell them what you have? And we were all like, oh my gosh, she made us swear up and down that we would never walk by somebody and not tell them what we have. And that is just how, that is just how I have taught my team. That is what I do too. Um, but something that I, so I wasn't able to be at the Grand Rapids mini boot camp today, but all my leaders were there and I actually was on FaceTime because I have major FOMO, I was driving back from a wedding and, um, Cammie said, have you been praying 
for that next runner, that next rock star, your next diamond? Have you guys, that's a legitimate question. Have you guys been praying for something like that? Yeah. Because she said, she's standing behind you. She's bagging your groceries. She's checking you out at the grocery store or at TJ Maxx. She's a couple feet away from you. If, the, if somebody is near you, if somebody is within a couple feet of you in a store, you need to be telling them what you have because that could be her. And so that was just this like huge aha moment for me, you guys, even as presidential diamonds, something like that was like, wow, that's so powerful. Um, but I actually, one of my double diamonds challenged me. She's like, Katie, when's the last time you had your own rap party? I'm like, wow, it's been a while since I've had my own rap party. I've had other people's rap parties. I've had sample nights at, over my mom's house and launch parties. But so what we did is she made me promise I'm going to have my own rap party. And then I challenge you guys to do this too. Have your own rap party. Just you. You is your own distributor. And then make it a goal for yourself within that next week or two, however far it is out that you have to invite as many new people that you don't already know as you can. So when you're out, you have to be blitzing people because you have to invite some people to your party because basically, you know, we don't want to hear it. If you don't have a warm market, you get to, you get to go meet people or you ran through your warm market or whatever. Um, you guys, you, like I met a lady at Panera the other day and I didn't know her at all. She just said, oh my gosh, your shirt is so cute. I'm like, oh my gosh, our company has the best clothes. Let me give you one of my coupons. That's how I started talking to her. But um, so one more thing for you. I always like to leave it at the business. Um, even though when I was blitzed, I was asked if I had ever heard of it and I said, no, what is it? Sarah said, it's basically a big sticker that you put anywhere from the chin down and tightens tons of perks. But for me, I, I don't remember who I learned this from years ago. And I, it might have been Cammie um, because Cammie was also my other upline. I only have three uplines. Um, but uh, basically, so let's say you're at Panera and there's somebody super friendly, the cashier or the girl that's cleaning up. I say, have you ever heard of this? I always leave. That's my favorite line. Have you ever heard of this? And then if they say yes or no, it doesn't matter. I say, you know what? There's a really fantastic business opportunity behind this product. And I think that you would be so great at what I do. Would you be interested in making extra money? I have never been told no, you guys. And all I say is here, tell you what, what's your number? I'm going to shoot you a quick text. So you have my number and I can connect with you when you get off work. I have, it's so casual. Even if they eat, I've been told a million different things, but um, I usually just try to get their phone number. I'm a very much a phone number girl, and that's just because I'm old school. That's how we did it four and a half years ago, but you can get them on Facebook too. Are you on Facebook? But I love to lead with the business because even if they're not interested in making extra money, you can fall back on the products mm -hmm. because if you start with the products, you can't, if they already turn you down on that, you can't lead into the business, but if you lead in the business, then you can always fall back in the products. And for me, you guys, never give up on your loyal customers because I was a loyal customer for two and a half years and then I was Sarah's next presidential. So that can happen to you too. Can you please repeat what you just said? That was so good from Maria. So what is it that you said? Is it about you can't, if you lead with the... Um... Okay, so if you lead... <laughs> my dog's in the background. If you lead <laughs> with the business, you can always fall back on the products. But if you start with the products, you can't like up yourself and then go to the business. You know what I mean? So if you're like, are you interested in making extra money? And they immediately, let's say they just randomly... Let's say they, they say, oh, I, I don't have time for that. Oh, it's okay. Oh my gosh, we have almost 40 products. I would love to invite you to one of my sample nights. Perfect. But if you don't have a sample night set up, you have nothing to fall back and invite them to. So maybe plan at least one rap party of your own each month or maybe two bi-weekly. My mom does a weekly rap night every Wednesday for the last four years. So we always have something. Hi, Carter. Um, I, we always have something to fall back on if we're like, hey, are you interested in making extra income? They say, no. Oh, my gosh. You know what? We have 40 amazing products. I would love to invite you to our sample night next week. I love that. So good. Well, I want to thank everybody for tonight. We've got about five minutes till the corporate call. So we're going to wrap up because we want all of you to hop on the corporate call. Um, every Sunday, we will try to be done by about five minutes to 10. Um, so we can go ahead and hop on there and um, 
for those that know me, I usually take Sundays for family um, and church and just to fill my cup. And then what I always do is I tell my team, I like come back right before the corporate call. And now I'll be coming back for the powerhouse. So super excited. We've got an amazing uh, powerhouse coming at you guys next Sunday as well. So every Sunday um, we're going to be here. You'll be hearing from different presidentials, different tips, different stories, um, different topics. Nine o'clock, and we will always wrap up by 9.55. They will be recorded, so um, they will be shared with the team. So thank you guys so much for tonight. Uh, we will see you over at the Corporal Call. If you're coming to Nashville, we can't wait to see you at Nashville. Events are life. If you feel, oh my gosh, I just need to get to an event, I encourage you. There's still time to get to Nashville, so make sure you do that. Hop on tonight's call, and we will see you guys next week. Love y'all. Good night.